Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I want to show you how you can access your web hosting via FTP. So let's get right into it. So first of all, you will need an FTP client. In this video, I'm going to be using FileZilla and WinSCP, and there'll be a separate guide for each one. So once you have downloaded your FTP client, we then need to figure out our FTP details. So I'm just going to write them down in this notepad. So first of all, we're going to get our host, which if you are using a Pebblehost server, will be web server and then for.pebblehost.com and that will be our host. Our port will then be 21 and then your username and password will be your cPanel username and password. So make sure you know them as well. So first, let's start with WinSCP. So upon opening WinSCP, you'll be prompted with this window where it'll ask you to put in a host name, a port number and a username and password. First of all, we're going to change the file protocol to FTP. And then we're going to change the encryption to TLS SSL explicit encryption. Once we've done that, we're then going to put the host name, which we put in our notepad earlier. So we'll copy that, put it in the host name, and then for the port number, we're going to put 21. And then the username and password will be your cPanel username and password. So go ahead and put them in. So now that we put them in, we can click save. And this will mean that we don't have to put in each detail every single time. So we can click save and then you can name your site. I'm calling my site Pebblehost Web Hosting. And now you can click OK. And now finally, if we click login, it's going to ask for our password, which once again, we're going to put it in. And then we're going to click OK. And now we have access to all of our files. So on the right here is our web hosting. And on the left is your own PC. And then of course, you can drag any file from the left to the right. So that is WinSCP. And now we're going to move on to FileZilla. Okay, so now we've opened FileZilla. So now we need to log in to our server. So at the top where it says host, we're then going to put in the host name that we put in our notepad earlier. So mine is webserver4.pebblehost.com. So I'll put that in the host bar. Then the username and password are going to be your cPanel username and password. So go ahead and put yours in. There we go. So I've now put my stuff in. And then for the port, we're going to put 21. And then we can go ahead and click quick connect. And now you can see we have successfully connected to our files. So now I put a file on my PC called pebblehostlogo.jpg. And now we can simply drag this onto our web hosting. And now it's been added to our files. So if this video has been helpful, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.